me. Okay, the topic for today in language, it's topic, sentence, and details. That is a topic. Write it down in your notebook, please. Topic, sentence, and details. The last class in language, we talk about paragraph. If you remember, we talk about a paragraph. A paragraph that it's made up of leads by sentences. So that is a paragraph. Um, if you remember, we talked about that a paragraph contains the topic sentence and supporting sentences for more details. So today we're going to talk about the topic sentence. If you remember the last class, we find out, we identified the topic sentence in some pattern, in some pattern. Now, let's learn what is a topic sentence? What is the supporting details? What is the supporting sentences? And also we talk about that in a paragraph, we can have concluding sentence. Concluded sentence. Okay, let's continue. Topic sentence and detail. I'm going to send through the share the topic. We're going to write first what is a topic sentence. Someone didn't, didn't, uh, didn't finish. You have it on the chat. Topic sentence and details. That is a top. Now, topic sentences. Remember that a topic sentence is a statement that tells what your paragraph will be about. Topic sentence in most of the cases is at the beginning of the paragraph. So it's that first sentence. It tells you, sometimes we can find it in the lower positions, but some it's, it's, it's in the first sentence in most of the cases. That's why it's a topic sentence because by reading that sentence, you can identify what is the paragraph about what it's going to be the paragraph about. Copy this, I'm going to give you two minutes to copy. Santiago Chavez, are you copying your notebook or are you finished? I finished, miss. I finished, miss. Finished, okay. Okay, excellent. Great. I finish me. I finish. Okay, see you on. I finish. finish. Ten seconds, ten seconds to finish the copy. I finished me. I finished me. Isabella. So don't forget, it powder up, it powder up. Contains topic sentences, supporting sentences, and a completed sentence. The topic sentences is tells what your paragraph will be about. So it's like presenting, it's a sentence that it's presenting the topic. It's like presenting what it's the paragraph about, what it's going to be, the supporting details about also. It's like the main idea. Like the main idea, well, the main idea is a thesis, is a thesis, but well, the topic sentence is also important because with this, you can have an idea what it's going to be the, the, 
the pattern. So it's like the main idea, yes. Yeah? So it's like the main idea. Okay, let's copy more. Let's write it down now. The yeah, topic yeah. sentence. We're going to write a good topic sentence does two important things. Number one, helps you stay focused to on the topic of your paragraph. Number two, helps readers to know what your paragraph will be about. So copy this, please. Three minutes. Three minutes to copy this. One minute. Now, three minutes. Okay. One minute. One minute. I finish in one minute. Okay, let's check if you finish in one minute, Kale. One minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. I finish, Miss. Two minutes, two minutes to finish to write this. Look, me. Thank you, thank you, Anna. Finish. I finish, Miss. Okay, you see, okay, Donnie. I thank finish. you. Okay, Colette. Finish. One minute, one minute. I'll go to one. Thank you, Sian. I'll go to one. one. Yeah. I'll go to one. Yeah. Finish me. Excellent. So remember, topic sentence is at the beginning. This is the first sentence that we can find in the butter. The first sentence, it gives us more information. It helps about what the paragraph will be about and help you stay focused on the topic of your pattern. With a, a topic sentence, with a topic sentence, you can you can identify. You can identify what the pattern will be about and and that all the other sentences, thank you, Rosa, with all the other sentences, you are going to notice that they stay focused on the pattern. For example, I have one sentence here. It says, cats are very good pets for several reasons. Using the sentence, cats are very good pets for several reasons, I can use it as a topic sentence. So it means that my, my pattern, my pattern is going to be about it. With this sentence, cats are very good pets for several reasons. I can know that my partner will be about like the reasons, the reasons why I think that the cat is a good pet. So it means that the next sentences must be related to my topic sentence, to the sentence that I read to you. Cats are very good pets for several reasons. It means that my topic is about, it, it can be my topic, Reasons why cats are good pets, we can use this as a topic. So that topic sentence is related to that. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go to next slide. Let's go to next slide. In 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, Five, four, three, two, one. 
want you already finished one and zero okay let's you go are. to next slide okay. remember we talk about first that topic sentence the topic sentence that it's that the one that is related about the pattern. It tells you what it's going to be the pattern about. That is a topic sentence. Now let's go to the second one. Second, okay, this information is also important. A topic sentence should say the main idea, include or summarize the reason to support the main idea, and make a claim about the main idea of the pattern. I'm going to give you Four minutes, four minutes to copy this. A topic sentence to state the main idea, the main idea of the potter. And include or summarize the reason to support that main idea. Copy it. Yes, copy this, please. Four minutes, four minutes to copy this. I finished. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance where you are copying this information. Ana Andrea Camila. Present. Present. Andrea, yes, it's here. Gabriela Isabela Chiara. Present. Present. Okay, Present. Excellent. Lucia Mia Rebecca. Present. 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 Excellent. Rosa, Valerie, and Sijan. Present. 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 Excellent. Rosa, Valerie, and Sijan. Boys, Alberto, Dani, and Fernando. Present. 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 Mm -hmm. Hermes, Joshua, and Khaled. Present. 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 Mm -hmm. Marcelo, Santiago Hernández, and Santiago Chavez. Present. Excellent, excellent. Santiago Hernandez, it's connected. Santiago Hernandez. Santiago Hernandez, it's not here. Okay. No. No, it's not connected. Santiago Hernandez. I finish me. I finish me. Me, Santiago Hernandez, it's here. It's here. Remember, yes. how to say present if you're connected. No, it's not here. Just the camera. It's the camera, but I don't. I don't see Santiago Hernandez. So remember, you need to be sit down in front of the camera with your notebook yes, and your book. Yes, Miss. I finished the copy, Miss. Oh. Okay, excellent. You're finished. Excellent. Finish. Excellent. Yes, finish. Okay, let's go to the next slide. I love you. Finish or not? No. no. Always wait on me. Okay. One minute. One more minute. One more minute. Yes. Yes. I love this one. I love this one. I love this one. Ah, Marcelo, did you finish, Marcelo? Huh? This presentation is also in Schoology. You can find in classwork number three, week number one. So in case that you don't finish, remember there you are going to have this presentation, you have the videos, you have a link where you can practice about this topic. So if you go to school, you can find it. Yes? Yes. Everything that we use in the class, it's uploaded to school. It was class word number three, it's on class word number three. It was the first class of the week, it's a class word number one. If it was the second class, it is on class word number two and you can find that topic of the class. So it's easier for you to find out in school. You know that the third topic was topic sentences and details so you can look in right. class word three and find the school. School. Okay. So as a review, remember the first that we were talking about is a topic sentence. Topic sentence, 
It gives, it provides information what is the paragraph about. It's related to the topic. It states the main idea, the most important information. It includes or summarize the reason that support the main idea and make a claim about the main idea of the pattern. That is on the topic sentence, topic sentence. Now let's talk about the details of supporting sentences. Supporting sentences, we have this. Supporting details, let's write this. Now, this is supporting details. It's not about topic sentence. Now, supporting detail or supporting sentences. It explains what was said in the topic sentence. So it gives more information about the topic sentence. It can include descriptions, Marcelo. It can include descriptions, facts, and examples. In the sentences, we must this copy this. Yes, copy this. In the sentences, supporting sentences, we can include examples, but they must be related to our topic sentences. It must be related to our topic. We can include facts. Do you remember that we learned about facts? Yes. We, it can be descriptions. It depends on what is our topic. It depends what is our topic sentence. Okay, you have finished, great. Now, for example, the example that I yep. was reading to you, cats are very good pets for several reasons. If I tell you that, that is a topic sentence. Cats are very good pet, pets for several reasons. Now, if I tell you, they are national good caregivers because they take care of their kittens. So they want to take care of, they want to take care of their owners as well. I'm giving information, I'm giving support to my topic sentence. Cats are quite clean. And if you train them to use a little box, they require almost no cleanup in their areas. As you can notice, I include more sentences, more information, more details, why I think that the cats are good pets. So all these sentences, all these reasons, all these facts, or all these examples that I give, it's related to that topic sentence. So they are giving support. They are giving support to my partner. They are giving to support to my topic sentence. I finish, miss. Okay. Two minutes, two minutes to finish, two minutes. I do it in another page because I can download it. Okay, great. If you use another page, great. Sian, I just have a little space. Just a little space. Okay. I finished me. Okay, Rebecca. I finished. I finish. Okay, Lucia, thank you for showing me your notebook, Lucia. Thank you, Santiago Chavez. I finished. Okay, excellent. Okay, I finished. Okay. Okay, thank you, Rebecca. Great, great. Thank you for showing me your notes. I finished. Okay, excellent. One minute, one minute to finish. I finished. Thank you, Hermes. Thank you, Santiago Hernandez. I finished, Miss. Show me your notebook, Mia. Great, excellent. Who's missing, class? Who's missing to copy, to finish to copy? Nobody? Chiara, you finished, Chiara? Alberto? Fernando? Yes? Okay, all of you finished. All of you finished, great. Okay, don't forget this. Topic sentence and supporting sentence. Supporting sentence give, give description, more information, more examples, and facts about our topic sentence, that what we're talking about. Now, we're going to watch a video and then we're going to practice on the link. This link also, it's on a school, but first we're going to watch one video. 
Okay, let me show you. Please, why are we not going to write the most thing of the video? No more. You're not going to write more. Okay, let me show you. Yes, let's go and watch the first video. Let's go into this. Writing for kids. What is a topic sentence? It is the first sentence in a paragraph. Okay, and you can notice in the two videos, we talk about what? The video was, what it was about the video class. Topics and sentence type of topic. Topic sentence and topic. That's right, that's right. Now, using the information that we watched on the video and you copy in your notebook, we're going to try to find out, yes, we have time, we have minutes. We're going to find out the topic sentence. Remember the topic sentence is also called the main idea. Right now, we're going to do the number one together, uh, Marcelo, then you can practice with the link. We're going to do it together, please. Read the group of sentences and choose the sentence that best gives the main idea that it's about the topic sentence. Remember the main idea. We have option A and B. But first, we're going to read the pattern. It says, one reason is that guinea pigs don't usually bite. Second, guinea pigs do not make, make as much noise as other rodents might during the night. Last, they are large enough that they can be found in there if they ever get lost in the house. Here we have the supporting details. What do you think is going to be the topic sentence, the main idea? According to the details that we have, what it can be the main idea? Here comes. Guinea pigs are social and require daily interaction. It's about these sentences. They are related to this sentence or they are related to guinea pigs make good pets. The topic sentence is what it's about the, the, the paragraph, remember. And the details that we have, they give support, they give more information about the topic sentence. We have the support details, but we don't have the topic sentence. So it says, one reason is guinea pigs do not usually bite. Do you think that this sentence is giving information about guinea pigs are social and require daily interaction? Or it's, it's this paragraph, it's trying to tell you that the guinea pigs are good pets. A. Guinea pig. A. A. Later A for you. Who say B? Rebecca. Rebecca. Yes, guinea pigs make good pets. Why? One reason they don't usually bite. So that is one reason why they are good pets. And another one is that they, they don't make much noise as the dogs and the cats. So it's trying to com convince you, it's trying to persuade you to know that the guinea pigs make good pets. With all this paragraph, uh, with this part of this important sentence, we can identify that this is the, the topic sentence. Now we have another one, another paragraph here. This is the paragraph, and here we have the topic sentences. Let's identify which of these sentences it's related to the pattern. One, it is easy to make a peanut butter and banana sandwich. We all like peanut butter sandwich with banana. Let's let's listen to the supporting. First, spread peanut butter on two pieces of bread. Next, cut a banana into slices and lay them on top of the peanut butter. Then, close the two pieces of bread into sandwich and last, eat it up. What do you think it's the pattern of about? About A or B? A. A. A, it is easy to make a peanut butter and banana sandwich. No, no, B. A. No, a. Like peanut butter sandwich B. with banana. B. 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 Letter A. B. What letter A comes? A. a. Because it's easy to... mm -hmm. not all the gente like butter sandwich with banana. That's right. Not all the people like it. And also, it says it is easy to make peanut butter banana sandwich. And then it's describing you the steps that you follow to make a banana sandwich, right? A peanut butter and banana sandwich. Then it describes first, you follow this step and you can have a banana sandwich. Yes. Okay. And the last one, it says frogs usually have no longer legs and whether it's in the 
toads do. Many frogs live near a water source of some kind, while toads prefer a dam. Mud environments, frog X and toad X are different in shape. What is related to? So the frogs a, are different from a, toads or a, like more a, 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 a. That's why right. they're different. And in this case, it's describing a pound. Excellent. So if we check here, we can find out that we have all the points. Let's see. Yes, we have all the points, 10 out of 10. Okay, class, we're going to finish here. Remember, no homework in language this week. Work on your homework. This, if you are homework or questions, you can ask. Okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.